place a fully constrained hole in a pipe, start off by selecting a reference plane to do an offset. The plane you select needs to be perpendicular to the axis of the pipe. In this case, we'll use the front plane, and we'll offset that 5 inches. Once we offset that plane, we're going to go ahead and start a sketch on that plane. Once we start a sketch on that plane, we're going to go through and first create reference geometry using a center line. Going to place that center line from the origin to the edge of the pipe. And then now I'm going to create a solid line, which will be my location for the center of the hole, which will go from the center of the pipe to the edge of the outside. Once that's done, I'll go ahead and add a angle dimension to fully constrain the sketch and have it fully defined. My first sketch is now complete. Now let's move on to the second reference plane we're going to use. Selecting the outside face of the pipe for the first reference to get a tangent. Then for the second reference, I'm going to select the solid line where we'll have a perpendicular relation to the plane that was created. Once that's created, we'll go through now and add a sketch to that second plane. And we'll sketch in whichever geometry we're going to create a hole with. In this case, I'm just going to use a regular circle. Place that geometry at a dimension. And to fully go through and finish fully defining my sketch, I'll just take the center point of the circle, select the line, and add a Pierce relation. Exit the sketch, and now that is fully defined. We'll go through and do an extrude cut through the pipe. Editing the first plane, we can control the offset distance along the pipe just by changing the value. Then if you also want to have direct access to dimensions using Instant 3D, I can enter numbers directly like updating the angle here or grab these blue dots to manually adjust the location of the hole so you can see it real time to make that finer adjustment.